Some of the last living World War II veterans are in Normandy to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Crowds welcomed dozens of World War II vets and some D-Day vets on Monday. Many of them are over 100 years old. On June 6, 1944, more than 150,000 Allied troops, including 73,000 Americans, landed in France to drive out Nazi Germany forces. More than 2,500 U.S. soldiers died on that day alone. CBS News correspondent Elaine Cobb is at the American Cemetery in Normandy, France. So, Elaine, it is so important that we honor both those who we've lost and also those who are still here um, to tell the story and what they went through. How are they being honored? Lindsay, there are commemorative ceremonies all along the beaches of Normandy. Every town and village has its own event on. There are uh, me commemorative events where people who lived through the war as children are meeting up with local children to tell them what happened. There are veterans from the Allied nations and the US veterans who have made it back, just more than a handful, will be honored here at Colville Cemetery, which is the American cemetery where most most of those who died were buried. And the ceremony on June 6th will be hosted by President Biden. And during it, French President Emmanuel Macron will give the Legion of Honor to 11 US vets who were here during World War II. And that is partly to say, we appreciate what you did and a big thank you from France. I'm sure you're talking to people about the significance of these ceremonies and different events. Why are they telling you that it is important to look back on history? There's a lot of talk about how we really need to learn the lessons from history, and we're just not doing it. The war that engulfed Europe in the 40s was so huge that people said it can't happen again, and yet we have war in Europe, in Ukraine. And there's a lot of concern about that. There are a lot of parallels being um, also shown here. And a lot of people from Ukraine who were refugees in France who were sort of looking at what's happening here and saying, yes, it's, uh, it's kind of strange. And there's a lot of concern that people will no longer have the living voices to listen to. So there's a very much a need to pass on through the generations to the younger people and get as much oral history and written history as they can from those still alive. That is so important. I'm so glad you touched on that. Living voices. I mean, many of these people are more than 100 years old. I want to ask you before we let you go, Elaine, what the mood is like in Normandy? It is amazing. Everyone here is involved in some way. There are more than a million tourists here this year, visitors for the ceremonies. They have come from across Europe, from the US, from Canada, from Britain, and they're all here to pay tribute to the veterans. And some will never get anywhere near the ceremonies, but there are also many reenactors here. Quite a number of people are dressing in uniforms, driving around in jeeps, and they say that it's their way of paying tribute to the men who died here at Omaha Beach and all along the Normandy coastline. Incredible. Thank you for bringing that to us, Elaine Cobb.